Okay, so we're going to do on this first sea day a tour of the ship and some of the amenities that are available. Uh, we're starting on deck 17 uh, in the area known as the sanctuary. So this is a specially reserved area, yes, and um, they have um, some additional pricing in order to access this area, which, which we're not going to uh, participate in. Yes. All right, so this is a nice area. So we're up here on the sports deck, which is like 18, 19. Not directly accessible by the elevators, but by some steps. And then this down here is the sun deck area, and the sanctuary is the enclosed area uh, beyond that far wall over there. But as you can see, many of the passengers on this sea day have taken advantage of the full sunshine. Not a lot of clouds, if any, in the sky. So, great way to relax on this sea day. Alright, Dennis pointed out for me the sign which says we're on the sky deck 19. Alright, so we're coming around on the sky deck and now we're pointing more towards the midship area where the majority of the passengers seem to hang out. Uh, there's the pool area down there. They also have a large screen where they show movies or concerts or other so, uh, it was the Lion King really good. Yes. And, uh, Which I've never seen and don't want to see. Right. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and and they they have entertainment all day long and, and late into the evening. So it's, um, a, hop, it's a happening place. Yes. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It's breezy. It's beautiful. Yes. And uh, what is people, it like 80? Like, oh, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. This is, a, this, is, this is the way to celebrate Thanksgiving week and escape the cold of the mainland. We're under the screen right now, so that's why it's so loud, but right here you got a little place where you can post for a picture with the love boat. Booey. Alright, making our way back to toward the aft of the top of the ship, uh, we come across this walking track, jogging track, whatever you want to call it. And they'll facing the other way oh. I'm getting the actual track it's not all about us every time they'll run all over you too if you don't get out of their way yeah <laughs> kind of like the mall walkers all right so let's check out some more and to help you know which side to be on if you want to be walking you're on the left if you want to run or jog you come over here to the right point out to me that says to walk a mile you gotta do seven laps. I'm like that Tony Gazelle. You can do it! Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> yes so as you can see they have exercise equipment here in, in the uh, walking area or the jogging track area. So we got three pieces of equipment here that you can do some what exercises on. I'm not quite sure. You supposed to jump? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, it's a swivel. Oh, it's to work, work your love handles. And then over here is where you can, uh, oh, oh, you can pull your weight up. That's what you do on this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it gives you an idea that you can exercise while you drink at the bar. It's pretty novelty. It helps. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, and we've come on around some more. There is a basketball court. You can also do Possibly not tennis. Uh, looks like pickleball. So wide variety of activities available 
to stay in shape, as well as uh, a little petting green to practice your pets or your drives. All right, so as you'd expect on a ship, they also have shuffleboard. There's another angle of the pickleball, pickleball basketball court. They also have an area where you can practice putting or croquet using mallets instead of putters. All right, and at the very back of the ship, you get a view of the waves made by the water. Very serene, calming effect. If you like to play ping pong or table tennis, they also have tables available for that activity. Okay, if you have uh, kids or teenagers with you on the cruise, um, at the back of the ship, on deck 17, they have areas reserved for them, such as the teen outside lounge, the beach house teen lounge, not sure what's behind number four. Oh, now that messed it up. The tree house area, soon for kids, platinum studio. So, got all kinds of menu options. Books, I didn't mean to. Yeah. Sorry. All right. I was trying to. And, the, and also, for your information, the fitness center is uh, in the back of the ship, right below where the sport deck was, where we saw the outside activities. So, for your reference, that's where you need to go if you want to participate. Like Alright, so let's check out the fitness center. Inside the fitness center, there's a like conference room area where you can do seminars. Huh? Alright, so what you doing, Dennis? Well, I just ate my ice cream cone. Uh huh. And now I'm trying to fall through this glass. What? Oh, I'm standing on this glass too. And look at that water just a rushing by. That's that blue water. Mm -hmm. It is nice blue water. Good old Caribbean blue. Okay, so Dennis and I finished our tour of the top of the ship, the upper decks of 19, 18, 17, and 16. We had a uh, hot dog and french fries for lunch. Uh, up on the Lido deck and uh, and then we headed back to the room and this is enjoying a nap so I'm going to continue uh, a tour of the lower parts of the ship primarily uh, decks five six and seven so I'm at the back of the ship right now um, at the very back um, at least from deck six and seven you cannot get down to five um, I believe that's probably because the uh, Symphony restaurant may stretch all the way to the back um, that you access from the midpoint. Um, it's where we had dinner the past couple of nights. So um, pretty much the lowest part you can get to other than the restaurant is six. So here on deck six, uh, Fiesta at the back of the ship, the aft uh, is the Allegro dining room. Uh, this is one of the specialty restaurants that cost extra. Uh, it's not part of the main or traditional dining room. So this is an option that passengers have available if they want to pay some extra. I am up now on deck seven, the promenade, and at the back of this particular floor is the Vista Lounge. Currently the doors are closed. They're having, uh, I believe, an art auction inside. So it's very quiet now. This is another specialty restaurant known as the Wheelhouse Bar and Crown Grill. This costs extra and it's also on Seven Promenade. Also on Promenade Seven, working on, working toward the midship area. Uh, this is the uh, Princess Live uh, Auditorium slash studio where they do a lot of game show type activities but it does give you the effect of 
uh, being part of a live studio audience. So quite roomy. Also throughout the ship, there is several places for seating areas. As we continue towards the midship part of Promenade 7, we have this kiosk area for the future cruise center. And this is a Princess Cruises Captain's Circle area. And this little area is where you can also plan your future uh, Princess Cruises. As we make our way into the main midship area of Promenade 7, we come up across Facets, which is the onboard jewelry store. In the midship elevator bay area, you can come out a little ways and have this view of the center of the ship overlooking 7, 6, and 5 with several winding staircases to access the various levels. One of the dining um, venues that's open, part of your ticket is the Concerto Dining Room, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's on the Fiesta 6 deck. Throughout the ship, there are several uh, screens available where you can use your medallion to access information about your location, about activities that are coming up. And then here, um, toward the back part of midship, uh, deck six Fiesta, they have the oceanfront uh, store where you can get additional accessories for your medallion. Also on Fiesta six is the photo gallery where you can come and preview the pictures taken of you during various times while you're on the cruise. Next to the photo gallery is the entrance to Club Six, which is one of the nightclubs or lounges available on the ship. So you come down the hallway, to the right is the casino, and to the left is the actual Club Six. So this is what it looks like during the daytime. Plenty of seating and so forth. Another dining choice is Alfredo's, which I believe is a specialty restaurant that costs extra. And across the ways is the Bellini Bar, so in this general area. And then of course we're in the center of the ship. Down on Deck 5 Plaza is the Symphony Dining Room, which is where we've had dinner the past couple of nights, which is part of your overall cruise package. So it's very similar to Concerto, one level up with the kind of the Symphony Concerto uh, classical music theme. This is just one side, the entrance is on the other side. Also on deck five midship is the Celebrations, a little boutique that's available for shopping. And next door to the boutique is the Gelato Shop, where you can get a nice frozen treat. Alright, and this is the Vines Bar or Lounge area. Also midship, level five. Plaza. Also in the same area of the midship level 5 is the International Cafe, which consists of a bakery as well as a place where you get some coffee. Next to the bakery is the Good Spirits Bar or lounge area. As we make our way toward the forward part of Deck 5, we come across Sambatini's Italian Trattoria, another specialty restaurant 
with an additional cost. And this is the guest services area on deck five plaza. Over here is the short excursions. And then over in this direction is the entrance to the Lotus Spa. And as we make our way forward, if you continue through and go to the right, then you will come to the right. Okay, so I've come back up to level six Fiesta. Club six, the opposite end of it's here. Sign here called Church Hills. And then here at the front of the ship is the main level to the Princess Theater. There's also an entrance up on seven. On the opposite side from Club 6 on Level 6 is the entrance to the Princess Casino. Okay, so come back up to number 7 Promenade. The casino actually has its own staircase that comes up to this level. And you can overlook the casino itself as well as some of the other items of interest up here on 7, which is primarily uh, mostly shops. So if they don't get your money through gambling, they'll get your money through shopping. Also over here on 7 is the art gallery. So there's a door open, so the Princess Theater, as you can see, is completely empty as they're making preparations for tonight's show. And here's the stage. And doing some testing of some lights but as you can see quite yet yes okay so that does it for our sea day tour of the princess regal um, capturing the footage kind of was interesting in that you kind of feel awkward filming uh, some people are really particular about being filmed so i try to be intrusive, especially in a pool or in a fitness center in particular. I think people were real self-conscious about that, but I think everywhere else it's not too bad. Um, I don't know if you caught it in that last clip in the theater. Uh, they told me that the area was closed even though the door that I came through was open and um, didn't give any indication that it was off limits. But I'm glad I was able to get some footage for you to see kind of what the theater looks like before any activity takes place in there. All right, hope the video was helpful with giving you kind of an overview of what Princess Regal has to offer and as you might consider it for one of your future cruises. Have a good day.